What's up, guys? It's Brian from Ashford Hub. It's about 8.58 a.m. Eastern Time, April 3rd, 2018, and we're coming to you with a brand-new trading video. But first, hit those subscribe buttons, hit the notification bell if you guys are on YouTube or Steemit or DTube. Um, and be sure to like our videos. Um, like them on DTube or Steemit, and also, like, please do like them on YouTube. Um, it's been working well, and uh, we really appreciate it. It's the best way you guys can really support us uh, right now is just really liking the video. So go down there, hit the thumbs up. Even if you haven't seen us before, just hit that thumbs up. And then if you don't like it, you can unclick it, all right? <laughs> let's make that deal. Um, so <clears throat> let's get right into it. Uh, we're look at looking at Bitcoin. You know, we have our triple B trade on. Um, and unexpectedly we broke through uh, we broke through this red line here and if you remember I said I did I do not expect to break through this red line here because the volume um, was really not all that great um, especially when I was looking at it around here and look what happened it broke through right here so Obviously, we're super stoked about this. Um, but the lesson to take away from this is that, um, uh, you know, there are, there are multiple ways to go ahead and trade and look at the markets. And if you're only looking at it uh, through one set of eyes, well, then you're only going to, uh, you know, um, inhibit your trading. So like the triple B trade, which was... A, very different way of go about going about trading than what I've been showing you guys on on YouTube. Um, it still so far has seemed to have at least picked up at least this trend from from here to here. Okay. Whereas if I looked at everything the way in which I've been showing you guys uh, things on YouTube, I would say, well, I'm really not that confident at all, and do not think that it's going to break above uh, this red line right here. And remember, this red line is this long, long red line that comes, you know, from all the way. Well, I'm looking at a 15 minute chart here. <laughs> it comes from all the way back down here. Right. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, this is just for the for those that are naysayers about technical analysis or naysayers about Elliott Wave Theory or whatever else it is. Um, if everything I've said so far is not a reason to go ahead and just open your mind up for a minute, well, then maybe this is with this triple B trade, okay? Something that most people, I don't think anyone really out there has said they're going to buy right here. I don't really, I mean, I don't really follow anybody on YouTube, but I'd imagine that um, there really aren't too many people that are saying that, okay? Um, and I'll get to that in just a minute. Um, another way of going about looking at this, if, I, if this video doesn't go too long, then I'll do it today. If not, I'll do it tonight. Um, but what the name of the game is right now really is, is resistance, right? So on a one hour basis, uh, the market right now is running into the 200 moving average, okay, right here in blue. It's also running into this green line, okay? Remember this green line we drew? This green line was the first line from the top hits here okay hits here um, it was the first line that we had drawn and the market definitely respects this line no doubt okay it's hits here hits here okay the markets all over it here 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 right and then again we're hitting it right here so this is a strong line and it's coupled also with a 200 day moving average that's on the one hour basis. Now let's look at things on a four hour basis. On a four hour basis, we don't hit the 200 moving average. We're hitting the 55 EMA right here. Okay? So we're hitting the 55 EMA and we're hitting that green line at the same time. So that's pretty significant. We're at a, a, a significant uh, point of resistance. Now, even on the four hour basis, right? We do have some green volume coming in here, right? Green, 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 okay? Even as late as this candle right here, okay? 
So what I want to do is I want to show things a little bit more on, on an Elliot basis for a second, okay? I'm not going to go through a full Elliot count, but <clears throat> when in doubt, okay, let's say you didn't know anything of what's going on right now, but you knew how to count and do some Fibonacci extensions on Elliot Wave, okay? Um, <clears throat> there's a few different ways you could look at it, and there's two different ways that I'm looking at this wave right here as a one, two, three, four, five. It looks very motive-like, looks very impulsive, um, and so the way I would go ahead and do this as far as a price extension is concerned is two ways. I would look at it first like this, say this is one, this is two, right? And we have three, which is basically at the one to one right here, okay? So this would make the third wave coming up. But I don't really like that so much, okay? I think maybe, um, I think maybe that this is the first wave. Okay, I'm kind of 50-50 on both of these counts. Maybe this whole thing is a first wave, this is two, and then we have three coming up. And three, I, I, I like three to get to at least a one-to-one -one extension. In other words, at least the same size as the first wave. Now, if we get some volume coming in, then maybe the three comes to the 1.618, okay? But normally, I, I tend to like the three to get to uh, the, the uh, third wave to get to number one uh, on the extension, and then the fifth wave to get to 1.618, okay? Does that make sense? So the, the one is about 7,555, okay? And the 1.618 is about 7,971, all right? So 7,555 is the number one. So that's what I'm thinking there for this wave right here, okay? Um, <clears throat> the next thing is, what I'm going to show you guys is... <clears throat> is the GAN fan, okay? Big fan of the GAN. Okay. But where are we sitting right now? Another point of resistance, right? is right here, this two to one line on the GAN fan, okay? Which is pretty much right on top, this is on a one, one hour basis, again, okay? It's sitting pretty much right around the same neighborhood as the 200 moving average, the green line, and then now we have the two to one line on, <coughs> excuse me, on the GAN fan. I have to drink some of my tea, give me a sec. <laughs> so, <clears throat> lots of lots of resistance that's the name of the game right now okay next let's go ahead and take a look at what are we going to take a look at here uh, might as well get into the support and and resistance lines okay let's start with the daily basis on a daily basis um we may revise a daily the daily line, daily resistance from 7,941 uh, to, <clears throat> where is it, 7,841, okay? Not a huge difference, clearly, obviously, only, only about 100 bucks, um, but the candle is still open, so we have to wait for that to, uh, to close before we set that one in stone. Four hour, let's look at the four hour. The four hour, we're turning from resistance to support. 7,045, okay, and this is our um, stop loss right now for the, for the triple B trade, 7,045. Now, the way in which I like to use these um, trade, the way in which I like to use these is... Um, <clears throat> these resistance lines, excuse me, these support lines uh, for for stop losses um, is, you know, if the market were to come down and um, the market were to come down and kind of pierce through this, well, then really I'm not going to get out. But if it comes down and it closes below it significantly, you know, maybe the next bar looks like it's going to close below it, then I'm going to close out my position, okay? So, on a one hour support, so what does this do? This 7,045 pretty much brings us to break even. Let's look at this on a four hour basis. 
Okay, on a four hour basis, come on, come on. Um, the candle's right here. So we basically got in right around the close, which is about 6,991, right? So we are, we're basically in this, in this thing, you know, approximately for, uh, would be a profit if we kind of got out around a four hour, uh, support level of, uh, 55, $54. Okay. So, um, you know, <laughs> Nothing, nothing to write home about, <laughs> but um, we're moving in the right direction. So, <laughs> and it was a big risk, right? But big risks should have big rewards, definitely. Um, but you know, where are we targeting? You know, where could I target? You know, uh, easily right off the bat is you know something around here, you know, somewhere around this daily resistance level. Let's call it right now at seven thousand nine hundred forty-one. Okay. Um, for me, that would be that would be the least uh, I'd be looking to target somewhere around these tops of about nine thousand, nine maybe ninety two hundred. Um, but we got a lot of resistance to get through here, right? I don't know if it's gonna happen. <clears throat> Next, one hour support level, we are going to change out to seven thousand one hundred and seventy two. Seven thousand one hundred and seventy two. Okay, so um, <clears throat> so yeah, I mean basically this one hour support level is right above uh, the red line that we have right here. Okay, so next, what do we want to look at? Um, let's look at RSI. Okay, so we're looking at RSI right now on a four hour basis. And remember, I drew this line. I drew this line here as having some significance, and we'd be waiting for the market to pierce above this blue this blue line, this horizontal blue line, in order to see the market really to move up. And that's exactly what happened here. Uh, let's look at it on a one-hour basis. On a one-hour basis, even more so. You see, we pierced above it, and then we kind of kept testing it, testing it, testing it, and finally we we just decisively moved away from it, and that's what we have right here. Okay. So one of the what is what what was really keeping me up at night with this trade, on balance volume, and it still is, okay. And why? Let's look at this. On balance volume is just creeping up. I mean, even right here we had a dip, right? It's just slowly creeping up. I drew this other line here as a, basically as a top to see if we can even get to this, right? So. I really want to see some volume come in here. Otherwise, this thing is probably going to fall apart. Okay. <laughs> um, but, you know, you need to, I know I laugh about it, but um, I do take it seriously because um, a, it's money. You should take it seriously. But B, um, you know, I laugh about it because um, I know about it. I know what to, I know what to look for. Okay. And you know, you need to know what to look for too. And these are, these are some of the things. Okay. Um, so trying to see if there's anything else that I really need to go over. Um, um, yeah, nothing really, nothing really much. Um, you know, I did mention before what I was talking about. Um, and, you know, one of the reasons why I say people didn't, aren't really going out and yelling and screaming and saying to buy right here um, is because, you know, there were, there were, there, I know you may not have felt that way, but there really hasn't been a lot of fear um, in this, uh, in this, in this, in this downturn. Okay, and and how can you measure fear? Well, real easily. Uh, um, candles do a really great job. So, look at this. Okay, fear. All right. Same thing here, fear, long wicks, here, fear, okay? Here, fear, right? This is like a very, very sharp, and then boom, it came right back up again, right? Here as well, here as well, right? You don't really get that here, right? This looks like more of a thought out type of sell off, you know, this whole kind of area right here, right? So there's really nobody really saying like, 
I don't think so, but um, I don't really watch really anybody really at all. But um, I don't think anybody, I'd be surprised, um, is really saying to buy right now because this is not like this is not like an easy trade, right? This is not an easy trade to say, wow, the market really sold off quite a bit. You know, everybody should be piling in uh, because the probability of this thing making back up to a previous top is pretty high, right? And maybe I'll go into this a little bit more detail um, in the next video, maybe, maybe, maybe tonight. Okay, um, kind of looking at how to trade this, uh, another way to trade this, completely different than what I've been mentioning before, which is far more technical. Uh, this is much more like um, in the pits of the New York Stock Exchange or the or the sh Chicago Board. You know how, how to trade in, the, in, the, in that in that in this matter. So. Anyways, I guess we'll leave it for there uh, for right now. But if you guys have any questions at all, let us know. Um, and, um, yeah, happy trading. Have a great day.